Coronavirus has transformed the world around us. Hashtag students against COVID is our response. It started with a tweet in March 2020 by a medical student from the University of Michigan. She sent a tweet asking how students were helping with the COVID-19 pandemic and to use the hashtag students against COVID when responding. Suddenly, she began hearing from people in countries like Pakistan, Italy, Brazil and Greece. Over the next week, she heard from people all around the world. Within days, hashtag students against COVID transformed from a hashtag into a way for students and young professionals to share their incredible ideas and initiatives with one another. Today, SAC has more than 800 volunteers across 80 countries dedicated towards a common mission. Vision and Mission of SAC SAC's mission consists of seven points. First is spread credible information about COVID-19. Second, empower student voices and initiatives. Third, facilitate innovation and collaboration. Fourth, campaigning scientific principles. Fifth, supporting our communities and healthcare workers. Sixth, fostering inclusion and creativity. Seventh, promoting social accountability. Community. We value students and allies' voices and we want to enable a culture that empowers the ability to make an impact across the globe long after this pandemic. Let's dive into how SAC accomplishes its mission. First, some of our recent initiatives include a COVID-19 Ideathon, an e-learning initiative, and a Model United Nations Conference. Some of our teams include a clinical research team, a financial awareness team, and a women's health team. So what are we doing? Well, in the past months, we have been busy spreading credible information and creating flyers in more than 40 different languages on COVID-19 myths and facts on important topics such as vaccine development. We've been building up resources for people to use, such as a COVID-19 clinical resource bank. I partnered with Students Against COVID at the time, and together we put together this clinical resource database. It's available for free from the Students Against COVID website. It's useful for clinicians and patients alike and has um, information on a multitude of topics. We have also been creating safe spaces for people to anonymously talk about different concerns such as mental health or women's health. We further have compilations for hotlines across the world for different mental health crises or to find help in situations of domestic violence. We've also been working hard to share our voices and elevate each other across the world. Our publications span multiple different countries and multiple outlets, such as UNICEF and European Sting. We've worked hard to increase awareness about many topics that are affecting us, especially topics that have been exasperated by COVID-19, such as blood shortages, racism, or the financial impact of COVID-19 on economies and families worldwide. We are striven to make our content accessible to many communities. Our translation team is run by an undergraduate student and helps curate content in over 40 different languages with quality control to ensure translations are accurate. We also work to showcase expert voices on important issues such as mindfulness and coping during COVID-19. Our women's health team was even able to create a self-defense workshop given all the domestic abuse cases that have dramatically risen across the world due to this pandemic. Further, it's important for us to prioritize the well-being of all of our members, whether it's in regards to finances, cultivating empathy and improving relationships, physical fitness, or mental health. We further want to advocate for vulnerable communities, including children, new mothers, or victims of worsening ongoing crises. I also strongly believe in the importance of making change within our own communities. Many of our members are activists within their own regards. In the United States and many other countries worldwide, over 80 plus. They've helped create send-offs of thank you letters to healthcare providers. They've distributed food to those in need. They've organized PPE drives. Members help each other in terms of their personal and professional development. They help each other cultivate learning opportunities, whether it be in media and writing, research, information technology, graphic design. They are dedicated to one another's success. Ultimately, volunteers within Students Against COVID aim to empower one another and serve their communities. Thank you for listening to our presentation.